Hi, welcome back beautiful Capricorns. If I start sneezing, it's because I've really got bad allergies today. Uh, guys, I'm taking my allergy meds, but uh, you never know what's going to happen here in this read. Capricorn, thank you so very much for all your subscriptions, your likes, and your comments. It's deeply appreciated. What's going on? for the beautiful Capricorns, current energy or future energy, if at all possible, for Capricorn. What's going on, Capricorn? Capricorn energy, what's happening? Capricorns, oh, the feast of plenty, the choices and the consequences of those choices. You're dealing with someone who is lost, needing direction, but they don't want to learn. The spirit is saying, you know, how teachable are they? They're hollow. You know what I mean? They're like, if you were to teach this person something, they don't want to learn. Yeah. They're lost. They're like a lost compass. So... You are rising above the fray here, the eyes of the eagle, meditating in stillness, being resourceful. What's going on? Herald of change. Something is had to change. It's like you're starting to get inspired again. You are, uh, you know, somebody is getting an unmarked trail here. So a new beginning, a new direction, or they're getting a revelation. It's something is being initiated here. It's like the crossing. Hmm. Reaching the farther gate, a bold step forward. It's a new beginning. Yes, it is. A passionate new beginning repairing though but there is a new beginning here with limitless possibilities you could have been learnt uh, lost for a while as well this person may have uh, got you off your course off your track but you've gotten a revelation and now there is a new beginning here enjoyment the further gate, a whole new world. Something is being initiated here. What's going on for Capricorn? Oh, collaborative dreaming. It's beyond the mind. The, the It's what the heart is telling you. What is your heart telling you where someone is... You're focusing in on the light. Huh. Someone is diving for light. Guidance. They're lost. Spirit's telling you to follow your own rhythm. The word wants to be written. So someone is uh, inspired again. Some of you could be actually writing. Someone is dreaming of a collaboration. So this could actually be because you're attracting uh, a lot of positive energy, the law of attraction. Someone's dreaming about you. Maybe it's a work project or coming together with someone. You're, you're working on something. The word wants to be written. So some of you could be writing, literally writing. Or this person is trying to write to you or write something down. Is dreaming of collaborating with you. Maybe you are collaborating with someone new or you're about to be. It could be what you do for your work as well. Beyond the mind, the heart beats. 
future potentials. So this person is not pleasing to God. They are not pleasing God at all by what they're doing. And Spirit is telling you to focus in on future potentials. A creative spark or a seed has been planted. By the light of the Creator, I am eternal. Relax and just be. Be to your own drum here. Something to do with Akashic lineage. It has been written in the Akashic records somehow. Something is being initiated from, um, you could be working together with someone. What's going on? Or it is you writing the written word. It's been writ before you were born. What's going on here? It's that feeling lost, you know, the internal search. Spirit is saying this person doesn't want to learn. It's written the Akashic records here for you to have this Ten of Pentacles. High honor, respect. So someone here, there is an emperor energy in their fields, their emotions. What's going on? Collaborations. Oh man, that's strength, justice. Hmm. See, it's not pleasing to God. Whatever this person was doing, they're not pleasing God. They are getting karmic justice for whatever they did. This is waiting. Hmm. Low vibrational energy. They're not pleasing God, whatever this person did at all. As above, so below is here. So there is some definitely some karmic justice being served here. Dude. Someone is learning something. That's why things have come to a halt. You're collaborating with someone. High Priestess is here. Trusting your intuition. The law of attraction, you are attracting in a soulmate. Positive movement forward, yin and yang, someone is coming towards you. Yes, they are. You may have moved on from this dark karmic energy. Positive movement forward, by the way. Yeah, so Spirit is saying, it's not the past person. They don't want to learn. 
somebody is initiating or they may want to return. But Spirit is saying someone is initiating something, someone very genuine and trustworthy. It's a new beginning. The law of attraction. You are attracting in your soulmate. Yeah, Spirit is saying this person... plays too many mind games it's new yeah spirits angry at this person they are reaping what they have sown you want somebody who's going to put in a dedicated effort put the work in Whatever you're doing for your creative projects, your work, you're going to have a financial success. <laughs> I do see you collaborating with a new partner as well. The word wants to be written. Maybe some of you are writing a story, a novel, a book. I don't know. It's the written word. Whatever it is, it's to do with your Akashic lineage. It has been writ before you were born. These are your karmic blessings coming in. Yep. Herald of change. Good fortune. Yep. I don't know. There's, they're reaping what they have sown. High drama here. You've closed out a karmic cycle or they have closed out a karmic cycle. Take it as it resonates. New love. Someone is initiating new love. Yeah. Someone is choosing to walk away. You know your worth, your value. Not putting up with bullshit. You walked away from a sneaky ass person to bring you in. You, the universe holds you up. Divine love. New opportunities. Somebody is initiating something new with you. Yeah, and this person is heavily burdened, and you're getting your ten of cups. This is karmic rewards for their indecision. They're going broke. They're going through a tower with whatever third party is there. Too much player energy, sadness, shame, regret. They're doing things that the universe is not happy with. Put it that way. Greed, selfishness, whatever. That's the path they chose. So they got to reap what they have sown. Yeah, too many secrets, too much lies, too much, too much. It's too much. Spirit saying, that's why things have come to an end. Passionate new beginning is here. Equal reciprocity. Taking your time. It's been something that is coming toward you that's taken a long time. Spirit saying, this person don't want to learn. They don't want to learn. I think you've cut somebody out of your life. Stepped up into your Empress energy, I do. Healing, a time of healing. What's this? Yeah, the true immature. They're a heartbreaker and they end up getting heartbroken by whoever they chose. Akashic Records here. Success. Healing. Guided. Single, abundant, getting success. 
See? Someone is just like avoiding something. You're taking a leap of faith to something that is keeping you stable and happy here. So here comes this. Spirit is saying that this person can't be trusted, okay? They're not pleasing God. They're not pleasing to God, whatever is going on here. So somebody may come in to apologize to you, take a leap of faith with you, if that is indeed what you're waiting for. But it is more of an energy of saying that you can't trust this person. Okay? They don't want to learn. I think you're on a new journey. I think someone is taking a leap of faith into something that is more balanced. It's written in the stars. This is destiny versus fate. Your destined partner or your fated partner. This person does not want to learn. Spirit is saying they don't want to learn. This is freedom of free will and choice here. So I think Capricorn is focusing in on their independence, their stability, bringing things into fruition. I do see someone new coming in. It's also financial blessings. It's also love connections. It's also your creative seeds, your creative projects all turning out in your favor. You've got the wheel here. So emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment, happiness, stability. Focusing, go to your own rhythm. Focus in on you. Relax and just be. Follow your own rhythm. Follow your own light. They are not, whatever they did, it's very unpleasing to God. They're not pleasing God. And they're reaping their karma for whatever they did. They're a lost compass, Spirit is saying. They lost their way. Will they ever come around? Perhaps, yes. But they don't want to learn. It's got to be dependent on whether they're willing to learn. And right here, they're not willing to learn. Spirit is saying, how teachable are they? I think you, your creative endeavors here, your creative projects are all coming into fruition. The light of the creator is here. Creative mindsets. Follow your own rhythm. Your own light. Spirit is saying. The, how teachable is this person? That's what the universe is saying. Whatever they're doing is not pleasing God. Okay? It came in reverse. They're a lost compass. And they are getting the feast of Plenty, the choices and the consequences of their actions. Focus in on future potentials. The word wants to be written. This person is diving for light. They're in the dark. They're lost in space, needing direction. They're going to get a revelation. And they are going to initiate coming toward you and take a bold step forward. But you are focusing in on the light and going to your own, following your own rhythm. So if this person is not pleasing God, how can they please you? 
I see you doing your own thing. I really do. And it'll be your choice. Because it's like, you don't want to repeat something with somebody who just don't want to learn. You're you're finding somebody is initiating something with you and it is a bold step forward you're rising above the fray you're like phoenix from the ashes here you're keeping a closeful watchful eye on everything you're repairing the veil and Focus on, on new beginnings, Spirit is saying. It's about forgiving your own self. Forgiveness for you to have future potentials and future life with somebody because something is being initiated. It's a new, new, new. Meditate. Keep your eyes upon the, it's herald of change the horsemen new bold beginnings you're being inspired again like your creative projects the word wants to be written maybe some of you are thinking of writing a novel or a book or you know what i mean you're focusing in on your creativity This person got to get the consequences of what they did. They are not pleasing to God. It's to do with the Akashic lineage. It's in your Akashic records for you to receive something or someone very loving and also a bunch of finance here. If you are willing to take a bold step forward. Or they. Because you have the power of attraction. And you are attracting in your soulmate. Attracting in money. It's one of your God-given blessings to Capricorn. It's something special for Capricorn. It's not going to fall in your lap. It's something that has to be initiated. It's not going to just fall into your hands or your lap. It's the power of attraction. What is it that you're trying to attract in? Are you trying to attract in money? Are you trying to attract in love? Are you trying to attract in both? Because it's written that you're supposed to get this. So whatever you've been inspired to do, boldly go forward and bring it into, into the world. Do you know what I mean? Bring it into fruition. That's what it's saying. Take care, Capricorns.